Hi everyone, uh, back to Pasta Chef. Um, one of the delights of living in Jersey is that we can do low water fishing and around about this time, uh, every year, beginning of uh, September, end of August, we have the opportunity to go with a hook and see whatever we can find. And today we caught a lobster, which I've just taken the claws and the tail off. And uh, we also caught a, uh, a conger eel, which um, is about a meter long. which we've now chopped into little steaks. So I'm gonna cook that. And um, I'm, I've decided to cook this in with quite robust flavors, almost like a casserole. And uh, cause we caught a lobster, um, I'm gonna finish it, chucking in the lobster tail and the claws and let those cook off as well. So our flavors for this are really robust. Okay, I want it to be spicy and zingy and carry that fish. I want the fish to be delicate and flaking. What I'm gonna start by doing is chopping onions and shallots and garlic, and I'm gonna fry those off. Then I'm gonna chuck the fish in, and I'm gonna sear that fish, skin down, let it cook off, and then chuck in all of the other ingredients, chorizo, some chopped chili, uh, some chopped carrots, a chopped potato, um, a bit of coriander, um, the stalk and the leaf, and a little bit of rosemary. I'm gonna put all that in together with some chicken stock, a little bit of paprika, some plum tomatoes, tiny bit of salt, not too much because it will reduce. This ingredient here is really important. It's great for sauces, it's great for reductions, great for soups, it's great for pizza, it's great for all kinds of things. And it's passata. Um, it's just, it's sieved tomatoes. So it's just pure tomato, uncooked, sieved, got lovely flavor. And I'm just gonna chuck in a tiny bit of white wine as well. So we're gonna cook this off. Me and Josh together. Josh is with me today. Hello. Yeah, he's hooded. I'm dressing um, gown. Okay, so we're just chucking this conger eel now in in the pan, searing hot. Just gonna put it skin down. And uh, Josh and I have just tasted the, the meat of the conger eel. It's got some fine bones in it, but I'll be honest, Josh, what did you reckon to it? It's like the bones don't really make a difference. It's like, you know, when you eat, well, like it, sardines, or sardines in a can, they, so yeah. most of the time they've got bones in, and you just eat them like that. It's a bit like that. So we've almost cooked this fish through. Um, on the on the one side, I'm going to flip it over and, and cook it on the other side. Actually, it's not almost cooked, but I'm going to cook it on both sides. Then I'm going to take it out of the uh, Kadai fire pit and I'm going to start to add the other ingredients. Okay, you can see this uh, fish meat now has, has kind of browned off a bit and I want to take this out. Just set it to one side. Okay, so in go these uh, garlic and, and onion and shallots and I'm gonna chuck in the chorizo. Now, look, chorizo, it, it is a robust flavor. It is a big flavor. It's basically stuffed with garlic and it's stuffed with paprika. Absolutely beautiful flavor in casseroles. You could pretty much take this exact recipe and just substitute the conger eel for chicken and you'd find it to be a lovely dinner uh, for the family and very simple to make. So you just chuck in all these ingredients, you're gonna fry off the onions, and you're gonna fry off the chilies and the and the um, chorizo and get all those flavors mixing nicely together. Looking good, eh, Josh? Oh, that smells amazing. Yeah, it's pretty Woo! good. That smells amazing. Oh, I just got a whiff of garlic. Yeah. So we've got our lovely frying ingredients just, just cooking away here beautifully. They've all fried off enough for me to chuck in um, some of the stock vegetables, so carrots, um, I've got a tiny bit of rosemary here, and some. I've actually got some coriander stalks. They're fine as well. Um, I'm just going to chuck it all in. To be honest, it just it's going to cook away beautifully. We don't have to do much with it. Just turn it around like this. Just got those carrots sweating. Oh, you can smell that white wine. Oh, you can, eh? You can hear it sizzling That's as well, good. it's really cool. 
sizzling away. Get that heated up really quickly. In goes the chicken stock. And finally, we're just gonna chuck in this tomato passata. You can see that this, this sauce now is reduced. You see where that line of tomato is? You can see the sauce is reduced down. And the potatoes are softened, the carrots are softened, and so that's all now just coming together as a beautiful flavor. So I'm gonna pop that, pop that conger eel back in there, pop in our lobster. Um, and just let that cook as well into the sauce. Okay, right, I think we're, I think we're pretty much there. We've had five minutes of cooking with all, the, with all the bits in. I do just want to taste the sauce. And you can see how the sauce has gone, this rich color. It's gonna be flavored by the fish, it can be flavored by all those vegetables and that beautiful stuff that we chucked in there. So I'm gonna give it a little taste. Wow, and that's got a punch as well. I've put a whole chili in there, and of course the chorizo carries some heat as well. Josh, do you want to try it? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, that's all right, keep filming, it's fine. I'm just gonna pop it behind the camera. That was so good. It's like tomato. So rich, so deep. Tomato, yeah. It's just lovely. So there we have it, we've got our finished casserole, lovely chunks of conger eel, like there's some really big flavors in there. This is super punchy and super delicious. So I'm just gonna let that sit there for five minutes before we serve it to the family.